What's going on players, coaches and fans? This is the part one and two sequel on Memphis the Pie with the question of finishing drill. So make sure you subscribe for when the next video comes out, you're able to look at that straight away, no hesitation. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight into this one. Now, the main thing that I've picked up here on Memphis the Pie is finishing. Look at the small steps he takes just before he strikes the ball when the ball is coming in and he's trying to judge yeah. the flight and the timing of the ball. Sorry, girl, I got a ghost. Uh, yeah, you know this ain't the old me. Try to keep it on the low. Yeah. But we should probably just be homies. Yeah, I said I got a ghost. Yeah. Girl, don't act like you don't know me. I ain't trying to waste your time. Uh, uh, uh. So we should probably just be homies. As I replay this video again, I'm going to have a look at the way he connects with the ball, alright? Now, he doesn't wind up necessarily on the majority of his shots. He has a very short pullback. I was watching a video, funnily enough, on Jermaine Defoe, and he says that most of his goals he scores with a short pullback. He said that Ian Wright actually taught him this, that if he snaps his shot very quickly, the goalkeeper hasn't got time to react. So just have a look at the ball comes in for this cross. You don't see him winding up to, for the volleys. It's a very, very short, snappy shot, which is why the keeper is actually stood in the middle of the goal, unable to react quick enough to where the ball's going to go. So thanks for watching guys, there will be a part two, so on the bottom right hand side of your corner screen, press subscribe so you can stay updated for that one. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, um, and yeah, leave a thumbs up if you like that video, thank you.